Audrey. Let's get warmed up for our strength class. Let's we'll start with a march in place. Today, uh, you'll just need a light set of weights if you have that available. Keep marching it out. Let's get a little bit more up. It's a beautiful day today, so hopefully you can all get outside for a walk or something to get in your cardio after this class. And so you can go a little bit faster, get the knees a little bit higher, arms are pumping. Good. Keep it up. get the cue going over here. The next workout will begin in 60 seconds. All right, please proceed in station. Three seconds, we're gonna turn this into a hamstring curl. Three, two, and one, hamstring curl. Good. Kick your heels up towards your glutes, alternating side to side. Reach out with your arms and grow them back, squeezing your shoulder blades around your upper spine. Keep breathing. Good. You can stay a little hinged forward at the hips, but chest stays lifted. Core is already engaged. Keep growing with those arms. Good. Knees are soft. Keep it up. I always like to get ourselves a little bit warm, heart rate going a little bit before we stretch and get going. Good, it was a little bit of a cold morning, so I'm still a little, a little chilly, but it's going to be a really nice warm day again today. All right, let's turn this into high knees. Reach and pull down, arms up and down this time, bringing your knees up to about belly button level. So you're squeezing your core nice and tight. Reach up, pull down. And breathe. Nice. Good. A little crunch here. Keep going. Nice. Good job. Stop. Exercise. All right. Now let's start to stretch it out. Feet are wide. Inhale, arms up. Exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down. Push it all out. Inhale. Set two. Exhale down. Let's bring our hands to our knees here. And sitting down into those knee, those hips as deep as you can. Pushing your hips open with hands on your knees. Now we're going to alternate left shoulder to right knee. And push this left knee out a little bit more. And other side, opposite shoulder to opposite knee. Good. Other side again. Stop. Exercise. One more time on the other side. Good. And come to the center. Now straighten your legs and just forward fold for that hamstring stretch over here. Begin set three. Just let your head hang down and reach for the floor just as low as you can get. Hamstrings are something that's so tight on us usually, so I always like to stretch out our hamstrings before we start. Just breathe into it, relax. And let's start to roll up. Really nice and slow. Chin stays tucked to your chest. That is your last thing to come up. Nice. From here, shoulder rolls Stop. back and down. Lift those shoulders up and roll them back down your spine again. Big shoulder rolls. Nice. Now let's go forward. Big shoulder rolls forward, opposite direction. Begin set four. One more. Excellent. Inhale those arms up. Grab your wrist and reach over to your left side. Inhale up, other side. 
Feel the stretch through your side body. Back to the center. Arms come down. If it's available to you, reach for your foot for a quad stretch. I always like to stretch. Stop the exercise well. and switch to the next station. Good, real quick, and then we'll get going. Other side. So we're going to start with our squat sequence. So you can grab your weight if you want to, or you can add them on later. All right, so we're going to start with just regular squat. So feet are back, one. hip or shoulder width apart, weight is in your heels, sit back and down, and stand up. I know all of you know how to do squat by now, so let's go. Good, sit down, and up. Squeeze your glutes at the top. There we go. Good. Making sure your knees stay back behind your toes. Back is flat, chest stays lifted, shoulders rolled back and down. Nice, then you can keep your hands where they're comfortable. Stop, exercise. Nice, let's keep going. We can work through the break because we're still kind of warming up for our first set. Nice, now if you want to grab your weights, you can start to add them now. I'll grab mine for our next set. set. We can do these weighted. Now, wherever you like to hold them, you can hold your weights here if you want. You can have them here at your shoulders or by your sides, whatever works for you. Good, just making sure if you add in some weights, keep your squat form. Meaning, weight is still in your heels when you sit back and down. You're pushing those hips back Squeeze your glutes at the top. Nice, you have a nice flat back. Chest is lifted, shoulders are rolled back and down. Stop Keep it up, ladies. Exercise. Take a quick break if you need it. You can shake it out a little bit, reset. Now for this next set, we're gonna hold the weights here. We're gonna sit low, and we're gonna stay here, and Begin pulse. Set three. pulse. Pulse. Pulse it out now, stay nice and low. Keep your weight in your heels, knees behind your toes. Squeeze those glutes. Nice, keep the hips back. Shoulders roll back and down, chest is lifted, your core is engaged. Good, focus, stay there. You got this. Keep breathing, keep pulsing. Little up, little down, so you can get a little bit lower. Challenge yourselves. Nice, keep it up. Keep Stop breathing. Exercise. And rest. Woo. Shake that out. Nice job. Now for this last set of squats, we're gonna come down. Two, three, stand up. Pulse. Two, three, up. Begin set four. All right, here we go. One, two, three, up. Two, three, up. Good. Pulse. Pulse. Two little pulses at the bottom. Nice. Keep going. Keep the shoulders rolled back and down. Squeeze those glutes. You got this. Pulse. Pulse. Up. Good. Push yourself up through your heels. Squeeze those glutes at the top. We're almost there. Stay with exercise it. Last one. The next station. And rest. Shake it out. Nice job, nice job. Okay, next we got our bicep sequence. So, keep these weights in your hand. The reason we're using light weights today is we're going to work on some isometric holds. So, we're standing with our feet in width apart, knees stay soft, bring your arms here like you're serving a platter. Palms are open. We're at an elbows at a 90 degree angle. And we're just holding here. Nice. Good. Squeezing those biceps. Good job. Make sure you're staying nice and tall. Shoulders roll back and down. Core staying engaged. And we're just holding. Good. Stay with it. Stop. Exercise. And rest. Shake it out. Nice job. Now we're going to change it up hammer curl hold. So now our palms are facing each other and we're going to hold it here. Same thing. 
right. Begin set two. We started a little early, so that's okay. Hold it here. Squeeze those biceps. Shoulders roll back and down. You're standing nice and tall. Good. Nice job. Good. We don't always need to be doing dynamic movement to hold, build our muscles. Static holds can be really great for our muscle development as well. Stay with it. Keep holding. Stop exercise. And rest. Good. Okay. Shake that out. From here, back to our hammer curl hold. Now we're going to open up and close. Open the arms up, out to the side. Begin set three. And close. Good, like you're opening a book, closing the book. Open and close. Elbows stay glued to your sides. You're standing nice and tall, knees are soft. Good, we're not wearing any earrings, meaning our shoulders are away from our ears. Keep it up, open and close. Nice and slow, it's one, two, three, four. One, Stop. two, three, four. Good, quick break, rest, shake that out. All right, from here, we're gonna add on to that. If you're, if this is available to you, we're gonna open. Push the arms out, four. straighten them out to your sides, bring them back in. And close. Nice. Open the book. Push the arms out. Bring the arms in and close. Now, if this is getting too difficult for you, you can do this without any weights or grab some lighter weights if you need to. Nice. If this feels kind of weird on your elbow, then, then leave out the extension. Just do the open and close, okay? You can stay here if you need to. But if you can, push the arms out. Stop exercise and switch to the and next rest. Stage. Okay, nice job. Okay, we're gonna take it to the floor. You can bring your weights with you if you'd like. We're gonna do a donkey kick sequence. So let's come down into tabletop position. Hands are stacked under your shoulders. Knees one. are stacked under your hips. We're gonna start with a donkey kick. Right leg kicks out and in. Out and in. Nice. Good. Push the leg out. In. Keeping your core nice and tight. The back is nice and flat. So try to eliminate any arching here. Foot is flexed. Squeeze your glutes. You got this. Nice job. Stop. Exercise. One more. All right. For the next set. Let's stay on the same leg for now. If you want, you can add your weight. Get at your weight in between the back of your knee. You're going to squeeze that weight there. And this time, Begin you're going to go up and down towards the ceiling like you're stamping your foot on the ceiling. Now, you can do this with or without your weight. Good. We're just kicking up towards the ceiling instead of out behind us. Stay with it. Now hold that weight nice and tight if you put the weight there. Hands are still stacked into your shoulders. Your left knee is stacked into your hip. Keep your core nice and tight so you maintain a flat back. Stop exercise. And rest. Let's switch to the other side. So get rid of the weight for now. We'll do this first set unweighted. I'll turn around so you can see better on my left leg. All right, so the other side, we're going to start with a regular donkey kick. Begin set back. three. So for this one, you're kicking that wall behind you. Nice, like you're pushing something away that's right behind you. Core is tight. Maintain a neutral spine, meaning your gaze is like two inches in front of your hands on the floor. So you're not looking up, not looking underneath you either. You want a nice flat back, straight spine. Squeeze those glutes. Really like kick back behind you. Good job, ladies. Keep it up. 
Stop, exercise. One more. Okay, now if you choose, you can add that weight again on this side. If you did on the other side, I recommend you doing it here so you get even. All right, so again, tuck that weight behind your knee. This time we're Begin gonna set four. stamp our footprint on the ceiling. Foot is nice and uh, flexed. Even if you don't have the weight, you can still do this one here. Keeping the knee bent at about 90 degrees. Good, kick straight up towards the ceiling. You got it, ladies, flat back. Core is tight. Keep it up. Breathe. Keep going. Almost there. You got this. I know it's starting to burn a little bit by now. Stop exercising. One more. And switch to the next station. And rest. Nice job. Okay, put that weight off to the side. We're going to go into a plank sequence now. Let's start with a low plank to give our wrist a break. So, hands flat on the floor. You can either do this plank on your toes here, or if you need to modify, you can do the plank on your knees. If you need to modify even more, you can place your hips on the floor so you're in baby cobra. All right, so this would be level one, level two on your knees, level three on your toes. Now, I think most of you can do this on your toes. So if you're here with me, press those heels back, squeeze your hamstrings, squeeze your glutes. Of course, squeeze that core, your abdominals. Nice spot back. Exercise. Stay with it. Three, two, and one. Come down. Nice. All right. Now let's do a high plank. So now we're coming back onto our hands. So again, Begin you can be here. Two. Level three on your toes. Level two is on your knees or baby cobra. But making sure if you're here, you're keeping your core nice and tight so you don't hurt arch your lower back. Okay, for this one, I recommend either on your knees or on your toes, or you can do incline on a table, a chair, or against the wall. All right, stay with it, almost there. Keep those hips up, but not too high. Stop, Flat back. exercise. Hold it, three, two, one, come down, and rest. All right, nice job. Let's do 30 seconds on each side now, side plank. Starting on your right side. Now, level one, you can do this Begin on your knees. Three. So both knees are bent, hips stacked. Lift the hips up. Elbow, right elbow stacked under your shoulder. Now here's level one. Level two, you can bring one leg out. Level three, you're on both feet. So your choice, just making sure your hips stay stacked, you're tucking, your glutes in, so you're not sticking out, making like a C shape. You want to stay nice and straight. Stay with it, almost there. Squeeze your abdominals. Stop. Three, two, one. Let's switch to the other side. This is our last set of planks. So again, stack your hips so they're even. Stack your shoulders. Everything square, facing to the front. Begin set. Lift forward. your hips up. Now, if you're modifying, you have both knees on the floor, or you have one knee on the floor, or no knees on the floor, and you're balancing on your feet. You could also stack your feet too. This is a little easier. Make sure, again, tuck your glutes in. Make sure they're not sticking out behind you. Nice straight line. Stay with it. Hold from here. This oblique is working. Three. Stop exercise two, and switch to the and next one. Station. Come down. Nice job. All right. We're gonna do a shoulder sequence now. So you can either stay here, kneel, sitting on the floor. You can come up to kneeling, or if you're more comfortable, you can stand up. I'm gonna stay here on the floor. On. We're gonna take these weights, our light weights. We're gonna bring our elbows up. So they're at 90 degree angles. My palms are facing me, the right front of my face. We're holding here and we're gonna pulse, pulse, 
pulse, little pulses, pulse. Good, nice. Now I like to do this one on my knee, so it's a little extra work for my glutes because I'm squeezing my glutes, so I'm kneeling up tall. And so I can really focus in on my shoulders here. Stop exercise. So you can come to standing if you need to. All right, take a quick break. We're gonna do that again with the pulses. All right, you should be feeling this a little bit in your shoulders. Now, if it's too much for your shoulders, set two. I would encourage you to just do a bicep curl. All right, otherwise, we're join me here. Palms are facing you and little pulse. Pulse, pulse, small pulses, nice. Good, stay with it. Keep those elbows up, don't let them drop. Keep the nine degree angle. Woo. You can also do this without any weights if that's too much. You'll still feel the burn without any weights. Keep going. Breathe, nice. Stop, exercise. All right, lift those arms down. Quick break, reset. We're gonna bring these arms up again. This time, we're gonna open and close. So notice how my palms are switching. Now my palms are facing out. Now my close, my palms are facing in again. Open and close. Notice how I'm not dropping my elbows. So I really feel this in my shoulders. Good, close. And open up to a goal. You can uh, goal post is what this is called. Nice. And close. Keep those elbows lifted. Again, you can do this without any weights if that's better for you. Woo. Good. Stay with it. Stay with it. We don't normally get to do our shoulders. Keep going. Stop. Exercise. And close. Take a quick break. Shake it out. Woo. Wow. Okay. Nice. For this next one, if it's available to you, we're going to add an overhead press. So we start here, open to gold post, press up, begin set four, squeeze back down, and close. So we're putting this all together now, adding on, nice, close. This is, if it's available to you, if it doesn't bother your shoulders, you can do the overhead press. Good, close, open. Press up. Your shoulders should be burning by now. Woo, mine are. Stay with it. We're almost there. We're almost done with this. Keep those elbows lifted. Don't let them drop. 90 degree angles. Stop exercising. Last one. The next station. Let's finish it. Close and down. Oh my gosh. Shake that out. Nice job. Put the weights back. Off to the side. We're gonna stay on the floor for now some crunches for crunch sequence. So to bring those feet out in front of you, feet flat on the floor. One. Roll down nice and slow to so looking up at the ceiling. Hands behind your head for support. We're gonna start just regular crunches here. So crunch up and down. Up and down. You're just lifting your shoulder blades off the floor as high as you can. Keeping a gap between your chin and your chest, about a fist worth of gap, so that you are still breathing. Elbows stay wide. Good. So if you can see your elbows and your vision over here, Stop you need to exercise. open up those elbows. Good. Take a quick break if you need it. From here, we're going to do a pulse. So we're going to lift up into our crunch. Hold it here and little pulse. pulse. Begin set two. Pulse. pulse. Keep pulsing. Pressing your lower back into the floor. So you're sucking your belly button in so your lower back stays pressed to the floor and that's helping you pulse. All right. So you're not using, you're not pushing your head up from your hands. Your hands are in the back of your head just for support so you don't hurt your neck. This work those coming from your abdominals. Little pulse, pulse, pulse. Squeeze, squeeze. Press your pelvic floor into the, Stop into the mat. Exercise. And rest. Woo! Nice job, nice job. Good. We're going to go back to regular crunches again, all right? Here we go. Three, two, and one. So up, 
and down full range of motion three for the crunch up and down you should really feel this now after we did that little pulsing sequence keep that space between your chin and your chest keep your eyes up hands are just in the back and the nape of the neck just for support you know lifting your shoulder blades off the floor good you're taking this nice and slow you don't need to do speed crunches good up and down one stop and two. exercise last one Woo. nice okay for this next this last set we're just going to do an isometric hold so press your pelvic floor into the mat so your back your lower back's flat against the floor begin with up and hold here just hold really working these abdominals over here squeeze press your lower back to the floor hands stay away from your ears keep those elbows out remember to keep that gap mind the gap between your chin and your chest stay here come on lift a little higher hold almost there stay with this squeeze keep breathing four three stop exercise two, and switch to the and next one come down Woo. nice job okay now sit up when you're ready we're going to come back to standing so however you want to get up come up nice and slow we're going to end with a light cardio set all right begin so you feel a little dizzy when you first get up just do a little step touch close your eyes whatever you need to do when you're ready we're going to do some jumping jacks. Here we go. Now, if you need to modify the jumping jacks, step it out. And if, if uh, lifting your arms up over your head is no good, you can do the front raise jack. You can do this. You can do the chest opener jack. Whatever works for you, okay? Just get moving. You're squeezing your glutes Stop here. Exercise. And three, two, and one. Take it down. We're gonna take a little squat. We're gonna work on our punches. So hold it here. You're sitting down in a little bit of a squat. You're gonna punch it out. Begin set. Extend two. the arm all the way out. Quickly bring it back in. It's a quick motion. Nice. Breathe into the core is tight. And going a little side to side action here. Stay with it. Nice, ladies. Let's go. Yeah, add some power to it. Almost there. Keep breathing. Stop exercise. Three, two and one. Nice. Now we're gonna grab our imaginary jump rope and do some little jumping rope. So here we go. Little hop. Keep that imaginary jump rope going. Now you can do this as you like. You can go Begin side to side, three. one foot to the other. You can get a little higher. If you want the extra challenge, you can go on one foot and switch. Okay, whatever works for you. If hopping is no good, you just bend your knees and lift your toes and you keep your arms going too. All right, keep going, whatever you're doing. Keep it up, almost there. Nice, nice. Let's go. Stop. All right, we got one more set left. We're gonna do a high knee march. All right, we're gonna end with this one. So get the arms pumping, lift those knees up. And you can work as fast as you can. Begin set four. This is our last set, ladies, last 30 seconds. So work it out, sitting nice and tall. Pump the arms. Nice. Good job, good job. We're ending strong. Lift those knees all the way up. Stay with it, keep going. Nice. Almost there. Keep breathing. Good work. Almost Stop. there. 
exercise. And the the practice is now complete. Good job. Bring it back down to a light march. And let's cool down. Whew. All right, a little step touch now. Bring our heart rates back down. Nice job, everybody. Hope you're feeling good. Let's come to the center and just take inhale up and exhale down. Nice inhale up and exhale down. All right. Nice job, everybody. Thanks for being here with me. Tomorrow I am doing Zumba virtually on the Zoom at 9:30 a.m. So hope you can join me. It'll be the last one before we reopen to come inside. So please join. Even if you haven't had the chance to yet, please join. We're not sure when we're gonna get to bring it back. back. So, um, and I'll be here next Friday as well. So take care for now, everyone. Thank you.